Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video, doing the ECM doing a 30 day look ahead for today's uh, first video. So this is going to take us pretty much through most of uh, July, we'll have a look and see what the ECM is forecasting in terms of its temperature and precipitation uh, anomalies, not just for the UK but for Europe as well. Can't see mean sea level, sea level pressure or 500 of heights with this unfortunately, but you can get a rough idea of what model is suggesting from its temperature and precipitation and not. It's got a um, flare up with my eye today, so uh, I'm going to try and rattle through as quickly as I can. Just saying that coming up later on this afternoon, we're going to have week to 10 day uh, video update, and that'll be on the home page this afternoon. So uh, we're starting off with the week one temperature anomaly. This is from Hungarian Met Office, by the way, so a big thank you to them uh, for supplying these charts. Uh, this uh, is week one temperature anomaly. It's week 27 for the year. The year really getting on now, uh, of course, over halfway through. But week one for our forecast period, taking us from the 1st through to the 7th of July. Real north-south split across uh, Europe this week, so it's much, much cooler than average. You would even say quite cold up across Scandinavia. Look at that in those blue colours. And temperature anomalies at their core around southern parts of Norway are uh, kind of like um, 6 to 10 degrees below average, so very substantially cooler or even colder than average uh, across Scandinavia. Really, really, uh, really cool week coming up. And also over towards the Baltic Sea, uh, as well, looking very chilly uh, over there too. Down into UK and Ireland, we're a little bit below average, not as much as further north, but even so, we're kind of like uh, sort of one to three degrees uh, below average, particularly across parts of, uh, the, uh, of the United Kingdom. But going further south, it's actually warmer than average. So we come down into France, away from the north of France anyway. Temperature anomalies are generally above average. Not as hot as it was uh, last week. But uh, even so, we're still talking about 3 to 6 degrees above average with the temperature anomaly across central and southern parts of France. Some parts of Italy also coming out 3 to 6 degrees above average and over the Asiatic into uh, the Balkans as well. Coming out around 3 to 6 degrees uh, above average there. More widely across uh, southern and central parts of Europe we're talking about uh, one to three degrees above average just poor old uh, Portugal there over in the extreme southwest looking a bit cooler than average through there but a proper north-south split very um, very uh, unusual to see uh, to see Europe divided quite uh, as strikingly as that from the north to the south um, and uh, a proper north-south divide. Precipitation-wise, we're looking like this. So you can see the reason that it's so cool over Scandinavia because it's also quite wet uh, up there as well in many areas above average precipitation coming up. Not everywhere, but in many places above average would be precipitation which tells us there's going to be a trough of low pressure sitting over sort of northern and northeastern parts of Europe, and that will be pulling down cool air and cold air from uh, the North Pole. So Scandinavia and over towards the Baltic states looking quite uh, unsettled. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather through the central areas from uh, Ireland and the UK in the west over towards the Ukraine in the east. It looks generally drier than average through that central swathe of uh, Europe. And then coming down into the Mediterranean, well, the emphasis is, is on a lot of dry weather. There could be some showers by looking at through uh, parts of Spain, showers around uh, Alpine areas. But uh, generally, through the Med, looks a little bit drier than average in many, many places from sort of the central basin of the Med uh, right way through to Greece and Turkey. Moving through to week two, and of course this is week 28 for the year. This one will be taking us from the 8th through to the 14th of July. Still looking uh, below average across many northern parts of Europe. So still in those blue colours there uh, through Scandinavia. And again going over towards the Baltic, uh, through the Baltic Sea into the Baltic States and the west part of uh, Russia generally. It's looking uh, below average. Not quite as much as it is in week one, but even so still talking about... Uh, sort of one to three degrees below average in those areas. So substantially cool first half to uh, to July coming up for northern parts of Europe. 
quite a, quite cool as well, extending down this eastern side. So it looks like the cool air is gradually sort of sinking into the eastern part of uh, Europe as well. So again, from around uh, the Balkans, uh, are just here, going over towards the Black Sea, it's looking generally uh, on the cooler than average side there. But Mediterranean looks quite warm, though, this central bowl of the Med looking uh, rather warmer than average. Near normal temperatures for Spain and Portugal, France still looking uh, still looking quite warm. And these warmer temperatures look like they're extending up in towards the UK and Ireland as well. So kind of like average to a little bit above average with the temperature anomaly for the UK and for Ireland during the second week of July. A little bit warmer compared to uh, week one. Uh, now we've got a north-south split in terms of precipitation in uh, this week. So again, this is week two precipitation, taking us from the 8th to 14th of July. Much of southern Europe is actually looking quite unsettled this week, above average precipitation. So if you're planning a Mediterranean holiday from the 8th to the 14th of July, this is just suggesting the May could be quite unsettled. Remember, these are anomalies to average, so probably not quite as dramatic as it looks. But uh, even so, it uh, appears that we can expect showers from Spain and Portugal in the west over to Wars, Greece and Turkey over there and all points in between. Further north, that's where the drier weather is. So Scandinavia obviously is drying out this week. UK and Ireland and northern parts of France looking quite dry. Germany, uh, the low countries over towards Poland quite dry in uh, those regions too. So drier in the north, wetter in the south uh, during week two. Then we move on to week three, temperature anomalies. It's week 29 for the year. It takes us from the 15th to the 21st of uh, July. So now we've lost those colder than average temperature anomalies across Scandinavia. And overall, we're just looking close to average with uh, temperatures then. Ireland and the UK also close to average with the uh, temperature uh, anomalies. It looks rather warmer than average um, in the west of Europe, though. So from France over towards Germany, it's a little bit warmer than average through there. This eastern side of Europe is close to average with the temperature anomalies. And through the Mediterranean, it's kind of like um, sort of average to a bit above average. So not a particularly hot week, but it certainly is relatively warm, let's say, uh, still through the Med uh, during week three. Precipitation-wise, perhaps a bit of a sign of a change in the far northwest. It's also going a bit wetter than average through Ireland and the UK. It's a weak signal, as it always is in week three. The further out you go, the weaker the signal gets. It does look a little bit more unsettled here, though, 15th to the 21st. So maybe signs around the middle part of July beginning to turn more unsettled in the UK and uh, for Ireland as well. Otherwise, there's not a huge amount to go on, really. It just looks uh, sort of close to average and probably, you would say, no signal through uh, many parts of Europe during this third week of the month. And then finally, we go through to week four, week 30 for uh, 2019. It's week four for our forecast period, taking us from the 22nd to 28th of July. The central parts of uh, Europe and out towards west, again, looking rather warmer than average. So France, uh, Belgium, Holland, uh, and then in towards Germany and uh, Poland. It's looking overall a little bit warmer than average through there. Near normal temperature anomalies of a Scandinavia, so after a cold first half of the month, it does look as though the temperature recovers to some degree. Second half of the month across Scandinavia, Ireland and UK uh, gain close to average with the temperature anomaly there. And across southern parts of Europe, a relatively weak signal through the med, but probably a little bit on the uh, on the warmer than average side, if anything. Precipitation wise, it still looks quite unsettled in the northwest. This does look like it could be a wetter second half to July for Ireland and the UK. Uh, and this is week four precipitation. It's normally quite a weak signal at this point. So that's for week four, that's a pretty strong signal with this model for it to be wetter than average uh, for Ireland and the UK. So there's possibly some sort of deterioration going on here in terms of precipitation as the month progresses, which is not what we want to be seeing because as we get towards late July, we're going into proper sort of high summer uh, and a lot of people on holiday, of course, at that point. So um, 22nd, 28th of July, final sort of full week of July is looking a little bit uh, unsettled with the signal here for the UK and for Ireland as well. 
elsewhere, which just uh, very weak signals again. If anything, these central areas possibly hinting at being a little bit drier than average and through southern Europe too. But again, really, really weak signals by the time uh, we get through to week four. So it looks like uh, we've got uh, a colder than average first half. And I do say cold average rather than cooler than average because both anomalies are very much below average for Scandinavia. So uh, for Northern Europe, Scandinavia, it does look like the first half of July is going to be uh, really quite cold. Southern areas looking warmer. Uh, precipitation relatively dry across uh, many parts of uh, Europe away from Scandinavia. Anyway, we have a first half of July. Those dry conditions probably extending through to the second half in central southern parts of Europe. But up in the northwest, around the UK and Ireland, it does look as though the second half of July could actually be turning more unsettled here and uh, possibly some wetter conditions coming along for the uh, middle and second half of the month uh, for Ireland and for the UK too, which I say is not what we want to be uh, talking about. It goes very much against Gaza in summer forecast. So um, we should just see what happens there. But uh, that's what uh, the ECM is hinting at. Uh, today. Right, do it all over again uh, next week. Remember, any forecast beyond five days is uh, with a big health warning. It's unreliable. So it's just a snapshot of what model is showing uh, today, but it could all look very, very different uh, next week. Right, we'll be back later on this afternoon with your uh, regular week's 10-day video update. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.